made it down to Nana and Papa's house. Uh, it's about 10, 15 at night. Kind of got in late, got some rain on me. Kind of got chilled. It's June, but it's kind of in 50s, maybe. So I put a fire in just to take the chill off and to dry my clothes out. I think I'm going to get up early in the morning and uh, check out the lake a little bit, put things back where I found it here and head back home, I think. Knowing that our plans to attend Laconia 2023 were called off, I was left with an itch to do an overnight motorcycle ride. My wife agreed to hold the fort down so I could go. I knew that the family lake house was available so I had a place to stay for the night. That is what I refer to as Nana and Pop Up's house. Here you can see the general area I was exploring relative to New York City. Besides riding around Papacton Reservoir, I didn't have a solid road plan, so I rode how I liked to ride best, turning down roads that looked interesting, exploring, being free, enjoying my motorcycle. As I said in the video already, it was still quite cool out. As you can see in the video that I'm wearing my rain protection. This is partly so I wouldn't need to stop and put it on if it started to rain, which it did later on. But mostly it was as a wind barrier to help stay warm. It didn't help that we were dealing with the Canadian wildfire smoke as I feel it was preventing the sun from being able to impart its warmth.
Here you can see a quick stop I made to check out the Mill Brook Covered Bridge, formerly known as the Grant Mills Covered Bridge. It is a 66-foot, single-span structure, now restricted to pedestrian traffic only. A very neat little spot to investigate if you're ever on the back roads of Ulster County. It wasn't until I started editing this video that I noticed the rattle you hear in this clip. The day I was riding, I did not notice it. This would turn into a surprise for me later that day. More on that to come. Here I'm on Route 30 southbound with the Papacton Reservoir on the left. Probably the best viewing point of the reservoir was from this bridge. If I ever make it back again, I will be sure to stop and take a picture of my bike on this bridge. I'm still unsure if this is an old Land Rover or something else. Comment if you think you know what it is. This is the point where the rattle we heard earlier surprised me. As it turns out, it was a heat shield on my cheap slip-on muffler. I'm amazed that I actually caught this on video, as it could have fallen off any other time than this exact moment. Ultimately, no harm done. The Papacton Reservoir was created to help supply New York City with clean drinking water. Because it is so well protected, there are no houses lining the water's edge as one may expect on a typical lake. This makes riding the area very enjoyable. I've sped the video up here to help accentuate the sweeping curves of Route 30. It really is a beautiful road to ride. Here you can see the Downsville Covered Bridge, a 174 foot long wooden bridge crossing the east branch of the Delaware River. 
If you didn't know already, I quite like covered bridges and will check them out if possible while on a motorcycle ride. At this point, from Downsville, I continued along Route 30 to Route 17, where I would turn west towards home. With four plus hours ahead of me, I needed to start laying down miles. If you ever get the chance to ride around the Catskill Mountains of New York, I highly recommend doing it. I can't wait to go back and ride again.